I'm Sylvia Earle. I'm an oceanographer. I am explorer in residence at the National Geographic, founder of Mission Blue, and I'm also founder of Deep Ocean Exploration and Research. I've spent much of my life as a scientist trying to get to know the ocean by diving, by using underwater robots, but I really love diving in submarines because you can go deeper than divers can go and get down into where light doesn't shine, which is what most of the ocean is all about. An oceanographer, quite simply, is a scientist who studies the ocean. You can be a biological oceanographer, which I tend to be, a physical oceanographer that really looks at more of the physical nature of the ocean, the waves, the tides, but I have come to understand that it all ties together. It's the bio-geophysical nature of the world. Everything connects to everything else. But an oceanographer really focuses on the blue part of the planet in many dimensions. My first job was as a babysitter. <laughs> That's how I earned my first money. Or even in high school, I earned some by talking my way into being a laboratory assistant, washing glasses, and but not getting paid very much. But I had the experience of being around people of the sort that I wanted to be like. And in college, again, the pay was low, but the experience was very important. They sort of took me under their wing as, as part of the, of the, those who were serious about what we were doing. I think it's the same in any, any line of work. If you're, if you really want to be a, a, a great chef, wash the dishes, hang out, be there as a part of the action. If you want to be the CEO, don't fret too much about not leaping straight into the big office with all the windows. Just be a good watcher and be up to doing anything that it takes to be a part of getting the job done. And it pays off in the end. My current job is probably different from what most people would think of as a job as explorer in residence at the National Geographic, I'm given the opportunity to have a little nest, a place, an office in Washington, D.C. So they give me support to explore the ocean, but they leave it to me to figure out what that means, to come back with projects, expeditions, ideas. This is not just diving for the fun of it, although diving is always fun. It's with serious purpose to try to document what's there, to share the view, to catalog the creatures that we encounter, to be in touch with scientists who are also working in the area with the ultimate goal of taking care of the place. I mean, I am a scientist, first and foremost, observing carefully, reporting honestly what I see. So my job is to set an example, I suppose, and to try to communicate to the best of my knowledge <laughs> what I see, and maybe encourage others to do the same thing. That's part of my advice to everybody. Go explore. And if you don't like getting wet, then go get into a, go explore a desert. <laughs> explore your backyard. Go climb a tree. Just don't get trapped in the thinking that what there is today has to be the way it always will be. You can make a difference, whoever you are. <laughs>